So three weeks ago, our community came together and that was a few different blocks on the north side from 5th Avenue, 6th Avenue, 7th Avenue. There was a woman who was sexually assaulted in our back alley and we knew that crime was going up, intravenous drug use was going up, needle debris was all over our area. And we came together as a neighborhood and just said enough is enough. Like how can we come together to try to prevent this? Um, I can't stress enough that we're all here as a community. We're not here to target people. We're here to peacefully, collaboratively come together to make our community safer. And seeing the community come together, our neighbours come together and just want to unite and keep each other safe, that's what community is all about. We just, I moved here about a year and a half ago and uh, we've got a house on the north side on 6A Avenue and uh, yeah, just working in the city trying to, you know, earn a living and not have all this stuff happen. Is there anything else that you guys want to talk about or bring forward? If you see a neighbor come out and you know that somebody's in your neighborhood that doesn't belong in there and your neighbor's having a confrontation with them, come and support your neighbor. Let's show them that we're not going to take this. Yeah. We're not putting up with this anymore. Strength the numbers. Yep. That's right. We have a meth house for about four houses down the back alley, which they supposedly have been trying to shut down for a while. But uh, the traffic that goes through the alley, because we're on the corner lot, they go side of our house all the way down the alley that our cameras catch, is just outstanding. you got about 20 people a day going in and out of this house. We actually sat in front of the meth house for six hours. There was 10 of us actually went and put our chairs out in the lawn and sat there. There was no activity going into that house. <laughs> None. <laughs> A kid yesterday, we had a kid yesterday, he was, we watched him walk across the street, look in our neighbor's car window, and then go and try the door handle. My husband yelled at him, ran after him. The gentleman from down the road heard us yelling, came with his truck, so they got in the truck and went after the kid, caught up to him and whatnot. It turns out this kid's probably about 14, 17 years old, and everybody says he's been coming from the meth house. So, so you know, it's not adults anymore, it's trickled down to the youth. So if the youth are starting to go to this house, what are we saying to the rest of the youth in this community? When you have 14 to 17 year old kids getting high and out there stealing and looting and breaking into things and you know, it, it's it's ridiculous. We do have the watch now in our area as well. They've actually came into our area outside of their normal jurisdiction and boundaries just to make sure that we're safer over here. So please, if you guys see any of the guys decked in red, thank them for what they're doing because they're volunteers. I don't think the watch gets enough credit for what they do every single day and that includes doing like amazing parameter checks all throughout our area now. And then also just because of the stuff that we've been doing over the last two weeks, they've noticed that we needed more police presence and then they've also generously given us those resources as well. All right, so let's move forward to new items and I want to bring forward the needle debris. We know that there was a six-year-old who was poked out of park on the south side. When you're taking your kid for immunizations at the age of four years old and they are crying because a nurse is giving them a needle and they're crying because needles are dirty and bad, why is this nurse doing it? That's desensitization. That is a problem that we've created in our community. No child deserves to, you know, no parent deserves to have to go around a park cleaning for dirty needles. No parent deserves to come outside in their backyard and see intravenous drug users out there shooting up while their children are trying to play in their backyard. So we wanted to come together and talk about what are some methods and ways that we can prevent that in our neighborhood. We've had a significant decrease in needle debris from a lot of the neighbors who used to see it all the time. And that's something that we want to celebrate because our children need to be safe when they're walking up and down our streets and our children need to be safe when they're out of park. Right, so we actually have um, bikers building bridges here. So thank you to them. We work with youth at risk, um, mainly through community involvement, uh, volunteering. I don't know if anybody saw us on Facebook. We were picking up needles, well, looking for needles on the south side, and we've gone to the parks around here down by 13th Street quite a few times. So basically, how it works with us is if you are in a neighborhood where you have needle issues, you feel free to message us on our page anytime. We'll come out and scan the entire park for you. So if there's any hole that you guys see needs needs filled with some volunteers, that's what we're here for. Thank you guys. What do you think about having them come into our area and maybe <laughs> So if everyone's cool with that, let's do it. Yeah? Yep. Everyone in favor? Aye. 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 Yay! <laughs> Beautiful. So there's a solution, right?
that's what we need to do. We need to come together as a community, not finger pointing, not yelling at each other, not threatening each other, but collaboratively and in unity coming together for solutions. That's what we need. City Council needs solutions. Does everyone join Take Back our what is it, Take Back North. the Community? Has everyone here joined that for anyone that's on Facebook? Yes, Please yes, keep following them. Have you joined it? Okay. Because then we'll list everything moving forward on that page because the majority of you guys are already following it. Right? And then so for the next meeting we'll have the address posted and then we'll have just again a place to invite you guys for new items that you want to bring up, what's working, what's not working, right? Ultimately we know that everybody on our block now feels safe going for walks again because we all know each other. We're waving to each other, we're there for each other and I only wish that the rest of our community could come together and stand against what's happening because we know it's not just a north side issue, we know that it's everywhere but we need to come together in unity and just create, create safety for everybody. For Lethbridge News Now, this has been Brandon Montgomery reporting.